Hello everyone, welcome back to theCUBE, the leader in cloud and generative AI coverage. Lisa Martin here with Savannah Peterson in our Palo Alto studios for SuperCloud 5, the battle for AI supremacy. This is day three of four days of coverage. If you missed any of it, thecube.net is where you go to find all of these great conversations. Savannah and I have been having here in Palo Alto, John and Dave in Las Vegas. We've also got Robin Rebecca covering HPE Discover in Barcelona as we speak. You can also find the Cube Pod. If you haven't checked it out yet, thecube.net. This is where John Furrier, Dave Vellante rant weekly on all things tech, very on the provocative headlines. Episode 38 is the most recent one out. Have you heard that one? You know, I haven't listened to episode 38, but I'm definitely going to be listening to episode 39. It's been a wild week. They've been down in Las Vegas. Elon Musk was telling yes. advertisers literally to F off yes. last night. Grok told Twitter to, or told X to cease and to Grok. I mean, I am I, I I don't even know how they're gonna fit this week's news and commentary into one single hour. That's a great. But we're gonna have to see. That's how they a do great it. point. And when when Pod Thirty Nine is up, you'll find it on thecube.net. We have a fun conversation coming up next. Seb, I always love talking with history companies. Uh, organizations in industries that have been around for a very long time and see how they're oh, yeah. transforming. We've got Kevin O'Dell and Nate Marshall from Toyota Connected North. They're going to be talking Fun. about some cool stuff, the drive the driveling platform, also the Toyota Safety Connect um, and Toyota Connected North, which is their goal is to transform from an automotive company, which we've known for decades and decades and decades, to a mobility company. Yeah. Well, it's all about getting around and whether that's first and last mile through a variety of different vehicles and, and vessels or if that's planning the systems and, and connecting the LIDAR and the cars that are going to be our, our autonomous car future, there, there's a lot to think about with mobility and it's not just driving. So I'm very curious to see what they have to say. I think cars are such a fun use case for AI. I mean, every single car is actually an edge device. Absolutely. If you think about it, yeah. full of people and our edge devices and everything else. And, you know, I'm sure you were in the traffic this morning on the way into the studio. I am very optimistic and hopeful that at some point AI can help eliminate traffic, perhaps, as an example. I love that. When I was driving home from the studio the other night, there was a guy that had all these banners on one of the overcrossings about helping to, to mitigate traffic. He didn't talk about AI. I should have rolled up down my uh, roof and said, it's all about AI. Yeah, next time <laughs> you, know, you can have a passenger in your car safely holding up a little sign exactly. that's, you know, go check out thecube.net or the Cube Pod and yep. learn how AI could impact our traffic and our daily lives here in the Silicon I love Valley. That. That, that's something to look forward to. And, you know, it is. The, the future is bright, Lisa, and I'm glad we get to look at it together. I am too. And you're going to want to check out this conversation with Dave talking about Toyota Connected Intelligence, what they're doing with AWS. Dave, take it away.